Hello everybody! Welcome back to Wedding Wednesdays! Yay! So exciting! Um, as you can see, I've changed locations a little bit. I am now in my greenhouse with my wonderful plants. Plant appreciation moment. Look at them. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. Love it. Alright, let's move on. Today I really want to talk to you guys about three cute ways to get your friends and family out on the dance floor. So you just got married and it's so fun and exciting and you're ready to party. Well, not everybody may be ready to party, but you sure are. So you want to get everybody out on the dance floor. Here are three surefire ways to be sure that everybody does that. Way number one, most classic, most traditional, overused, maybe a little bit, but still a great surefire way to get everybody on the dance floor is a series of line dances. Everybody knows some line dances. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a cha-cha slide, which as a wedding photographer, I might be a little sick of, but it's still a great way to get everybody on the dance floor. Or like, keep it shuffle, some of those. If you got some country line dances, throw them in there. Some line dances at the beginning is a surefire way to be sure everyone is involved on the dance floor. You wanna be sure that your guests are involved. You don't wanna just start off the dance floor by choosing songs that only a few ants might like because you want your family to be able to dance too, you'll lose the rest of your main crowd. Get everybody all at once, all together. That's the best way to go. So line dances, perfect. Absolutely perfect way to do it. Way number two to get everybody out on the dance floor is a little bit less traditional. Um, I've seen this done at a few weddings and I think it is so cute. And not everyone's heard of it yet because it's still kind of a new way to bring people to the dance floor. The reverse marriage dance. So if you've heard of the marriage dance before, you know what I'm talking about, but for those of you who haven't, it's the dance at the beginning where the DJ will sit up front and they'll be like, all right, I want everybody on the dance floor, and everyone goes to the dance floor, and then they'll be like, all right, if you've been married one hour, please leave, and then the bride and groom step off the dance floor, and then they might be like, all right, if you've been married five years, please step off the dance floor, and you keep going until you have the oldest couple left on the dance floor, and usually they impart some wisdom onto the newer couple. Well, this is pretty much the exact reverse. Instead of having people come out to your dance floor and leave and go sit down, this is having people come to the dance floor and then continue coming. So you'll have the main couple on the dance floor and they'll remain on the dance floor the whole time. And then you'll have your DJ ask, all right, if you've been married five years, join them on the dance floor. And so the five-year couples come and join them on the dance floor. Been married 10 years, join the couple on the dance floor. 20, 30, till all the couples are on the dance floor, and then the DJ might be like, All right, kids, friends, family that aren't married, everybody, join them on the dance floor. And then you have everybody out there. It's a great time, and it's a perfect way to get all your guests out in a sweet way. And you can still wait and see who the oldest couple was, and they can still impart their wisdom real fast without making everybody leave the dance floor. It's just everybody's coming to the dance floor. So it's real sweet. And then have your DJ play a real banger afterwards and everybody will for sure stay. So this third and final way to get everybody out on the dance floor, I've only seen once so far. But oh my gosh, it was so fun. Basically how it works is you have the main couple on the dance floor and so you have them dance for a few seconds. The DJ will say, break, and the main couple will break and they'll go and grab maybe their maid of honor and their best man and they'll drag them up to the dance floor with them and then they'll dance with their maid of honor and best man for a second. And the DJ will say, break. And then all four of those people have to run up to the dance floor and grab somebody. And the DJ will say, pair, and you have to come back to the dance floor. And this keeps going until everybody's out on the dance floor. So by the end of it, it's so fun because everybody will be on the dance floor and they're dancing and whatever. And then the DJ will say, break and everybody runs in droves to all the leftover tables and they're like pulling people out to the dance floor with them and it's real interactive and fun and then um, everyone feels like included and they get to have a part in the dance um, and they get to go participate in pulling people out on the dance floor and it was so interactive that after that the whole crowd was like just real lit high fun and so the DJ played a banger after that and the line dance and everybody stayed on that dance floor longer than I've seen in a while and it was so cute. 10 out of 10 recommend doing the parent break game. These are all three cute ways to get your couples out on the dance floor. I hope this helped and I hope you have an awesome lit reception. Bye! <laughs> oh my gosh, a squirrel just leaped off the tree onto the roof. <laughs> That's